Well, I've helped organise today uh, because it's really important to ensure that we've all got all hands on deck to help for, to raise funds for the Al Wayne Foundation and again to bring the community together in such a brilliant event. Um, but I personally won't be staying myself to watch the football because I have been boycotting it. Um, but for many reasons, not just purely due to the LGBTQ plus issues, so we just say. Um, but as a whole, I could not watch a football match at a ground knowing that people had died actually building it. But I think they never really should have been given it. I think one of the key criteria is do you have the infrastructure and they didn't. And then of course you get into the issues of LGBT rights, women's rights, the treatment of migrant workers. I think it was another decision by FIFA after Russia which just shows it's institutionally corrupt. Totally dispiriting. Um, it's just a sad reflection of a FIFA organisation that is totally corrupt has lost its way from the principles on which it was founded and frankly seems to be out of touch with actually the majority of the football family I would say. Um, if, you, if you boycott entirely the World Cup then you don't, um, uh, you know, don't have a voice but um, they didn't use their voice that they had. They could have worn the armband, they could have taken the yellow card, um, so many different things. Uh, and ultimately, the World Cup should never have been in uh, Qatar. I think we should be taking part. Like, it's, you know, ultimately we want to be able to show how amazing our football is in the world stage that I really like and want to be able to support our team. I just think that while they're there, they should do something that's more meaningful to not just communities here that, you know, want the team that we're supporting and and proudly showing our support for to support us too, but more importantly for LGBT people in Qatar who have no choice but to live closeted and in fear. So my reaction to the one love armband situation is, um, I thought it was a relatively weak gesture to begin with, but it was something. Um, and then at the slightest challenge to it, uh, instant uh, backing down, and I'm very, very disappointed. Well, politics is fundamentally about people. One of the criteria for the World Cup has to be that people going there should be safe. And when you're giving the biggest sporting tournament in the world to a nation, that inevitably is a matter of politics. And the, the, the way they got the World Cup has to be a matter of politics as well. When, you know, being LGBTQ plus is your identity, it's, you can't keep it out of your politics because your politics are going to influence how the world you want to see, uh, the world that we want to build. And if not everyone is invited to be in that, in that world, in our vision for the world, obviously um, the future is going to be really bleak.
hand of my father's. <laughs> LGBTQ plus people in Qatar are criminalised by the law and persecuted in many respects by society and in the institutions. Um, homosexuality is punishable in Qatar uh, by imprisonment, uh, by lashings, and all the way up to potentially including uh, death under the penal system, although that's not been used. Although the reality is for LGBTQ plus Qataris on their day-to-day -day lives that they face persecution in terms of having to hide themselves because of the law and that they cannot go to the police if they're attacked, assaulted, and sometimes the police themselves are the perpetrators. So they live essentially criminalised lives. That the World Cup should never have gone to uh, a human rights abusing nation uh, or government more precisely like Qatar and we have to learn the lessons of this both now and in the future. We've seen that for example the sports minister in the United Kingdom has said that he'll wear a rainbow armband uh, this week in Qatar. We hope to see that and we hope to see FIFA uh, held to account in the future so that it, when this tournament is actually awarded to nations we do actually consider their human rights uh, and I think that's the most valuable thing we can do, as well as standing in solidarity with Qataris who are LGBTQ+.